What is up, my handful of loyal followers? And hello to anyone uh, new, new to the channel. Today we have some, we don't have sneakers. We have some high heat streetwear, high heat streetwear apparel. Very excited to get this and open this on the channel for you guys. Uh, as you already know from the title, it is um, a Supreme Box logo. And of course, uh, cop this manually. We don't do bots here. Never have, never want to. And uh, so extremely, extremely happy to have this in hand. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. As I'm opening this up, if you're not subscribed to my channel, would uh, really appreciate it if you did it. Only takes one little click, click of the finger, click of the mouse, click of the thumb, and uh, that would make my day because, you know, I don't have 10 million followers, so that'd be great. Uh, yeah, so here we go, here we go. For the grand unveiling, a little, a little backstory. As you know, this collaboration was dropping. I was, I was set my alarm here on uh, Pacific time, eight o'clock, ready at the ready, had the windows open, had preloaded, some Hanes wear into the cart to have everything set to double check my info was correct. I always do that little little pro tip for you guys doing it manually. Um, and as you'll see here, um, I got those. And uh, right as the, the, the hour rolled over, uh, went to go, it refreshed, things were there, and immediately sold out. I'm like, what the F? What the F? But perseverance. Perseverance. I've had some weird things happen with Supreme. They had decent bot protection where you had to drag a, a, a box, uh, the Novacek logo box, to this correct spot. I, I stayed patient, retried, retried, thinking maybe they'll do something, cancel bot orders. And sure enough, after about 30 seconds, uh, I was able to, all of a sudden, the things weren't sold out. I was able to add to cart, quickly, quickly checked out. And I was in a little bit of a glow after the checkout because I, I, afterwards I heard multiple people went back and were able to get a second item and I did think of that but I was basking in the win in the W too much and so I did go back try to get a board but uh, I'd taken too much time if I was a little quicker a little more savvy I might have uh might have been able to get a second item as some people were lucky enough to oh all right I was gonna do one item at a time but we already has, saw this slip out so check this out very excited. I have so many of these box logo stickers. I have yet in all my time copying Supreme to get like, I think I have like maybe two, two cool um, box logos that aren't the standard red box logo stickers. So this is, this might, I don't know. I have to go through my sticker collection. This actually might be my first box logo. That's not a red. And, I, and I've gotten a decent amount of Supreme over the last four years. Um, so that is pretty dope. These are going for like 40 bucks 35 30 bucks if you get them off stock x or resell it you know they they um you know go for a, you know you're gonna pay a little more in fees and taxes so that's pretty cool you know get give you a good good view of that very stoked to get that i'm one of those people let me know in the comments uh a what are you munching on while you're watching this because i know half of you if you're like me when you watch youtube videos you're eating something because your fat ass is like me. I'm trying to lose weight. Um, what do you guys do with your stickers? I, I am a little OCD. I'm a little precious. Like uh, using a sticker is so f finite, so, you know, so final. I like want to use it in the perfect spot and the perfect object in the perfect place. So I have like a ton of stickers. I keep them, but like I rarely use them. So I'd like to know what you guys do with these. I've slapped these on some Ikea furniture here and there and make it look like a Ikea Supreme Club. I think that is, uh, you know, pretty cool if you're half the age that I actually am. I guess once you get into your mid to late 30s, it's probably not cool to have <laughs> Ikea furniture A and Ikea furniture with a box logo on it. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? All right, for all of those, like, shut the fuck up and, and let's see this t-shirt. Here you go. No, fuck you. Ha! Punk you. I'm going to show the... Uh, socks first so i always sometimes i because you know if you if you order supreme you got to pay ten dollars shipping if you're already paying ten dollars shipping whether it's a ton of items expensive item or whatever or just one t-shirt you're paying ten dollars shipping i like to get value out of that shipping cost so i always load up on some supreme uh hand stuff some basics because uh then it makes it a little bit more worth it in my in my mind and i'm able to pre-check that my cart is okay. Like uh, check that all the info in my cart is okay. So that way when I add the, the main item, I'm like, I'm like 
two steps away from checking out. So that's that's my little that's my little tip on uh, how I do it. So I was able to cop the the green uh, socks and t-shirts. This shit um, also FYI is is Hanes quality. If you've never got a pair of this of, of the t-shirts or socks, like it is low quality. You are paying extra for Hanes stuff with the Supreme logo on the bottom of this. That's gonna fade off. The strings come out of these. The socks, if you pull too hard, I'm wearing a pair now. They'll like rip at the at the hem right there. So I, if you're thinking about paying resale ever for Hanes Supreme stuff, do not. You're already paying a premium, a premium on this shit. And uh, it, it's made in India. It's low quality. You're already paying too much for it. You're paying for the little logo here and that little box logo that fades off or it's going to wear off. Do not pay resale for this stuff. It's made too poor of quality. So there you have it. Okay, now the main event. I appreciate you have watched this whole time and haven't clicked away. If you clicked ahead, you're just smart. Okay, there we go. All right. This is like the most hype beast item ever. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I'm still stoked to get it. Just, you know, even if I didn't like this, which I do, I do, I do like this. Uh, but even if I didn't like this, I'd be stoked to get it because obviously it's like winning a lottery ticket. It's so hard to cop these. Everyone wanted these, you know, automatically this costs like, what was it, like $56 retail plus shipping taxes. You know, it's, it cost me like 65 bucks, 66, whatever. And then you can flip it. These are going for high 200s in this size. To begin with, they're going for like over 300, 350. Um... So it's still like winning a lottery, you know, a small lottery ticket in just value. But I think this is, uh, this is dope. Okay. Uh, I am going to open this up. Bear with me. Uh, I've only copped two box logos in my life. One, I was able to also manually cop a few years ago, the CDG, the Comme des Garcons, uh, box logo in black with a split, the split box logo. Sold that for like... 200 plus dollars. I, I regret it now. I wish I would have kept, kept it, but you know, you need the money sometimes. Um, so I sold that. I copped that manually. That was a big W. I was stoked when I did that, but then yeah, flipped it. And then recently this season, um, you might've seen the unboxing video. I was able to cop a box logo hoodie because, uh, you know, Prem's kind of fallen in popularity. Um, with this Burberry collaboration, I think it got a, a shot in the arm of popularity, but unfortunate name on this, this piece, a Russian camo. So I haven't been super stoked to keep this. I mean, no, I mean, it doesn't say Russian on it, but, um, anyways, I think I might sell this. I don't know. Uh, just, you know, you know, there's, there's an opinion when people wear box logo hoodies and I'm, I'm like older, so. But I don't know. I like it. Just it, it was expensive retail. A box logo hoodie is still like what is, was it cost? Two hundred or a little under two hundred bucks, like you know one ninety. So it, it's an expensive hoodie to wear. Um, so might try to sell that. We'll see. TBD on this one. This one not selling. I mean, maybe down the line I might sell it, but I'm gonna wear it. So we are going to open this up. Uh, Burberry, if you did not know, is a London-based fashion brand. I don't think everyone knows that it's like London-based. I think people some I, I don't know most people do, but some people probably think it's like from Paris. But uh, anyways, I got a size XL. I'm a big boy. This is a recyclable bag. Please recycle. Not kidding. Everyone should recycle. All right. Now we're touching the product. We're touching the actual pristine, unworn. Oh, undead stock now. It's hit the ground. Throw it away. So you got the uh, Burberry Supreme tag there. No real info on that, just branding. You do have Burberry Supreme on the tag. So if any of you want to legit check uh, things that you buy secondhand or resale, make sure it has all this stuff that you're watching in this video. It does have a Burberry tag there, Burberry London, England. Uh, this company is over 150 years old. There is, a, like with all high fashion brands, uh, there's been some controversy in recent years with Burberry. I mean, Gucci's had the same. Everyone's had the same. So they're not perfect. I don't like wholeheartedly endorse Burberry, but I like, you know, heritage brands that use 
back in the day used to do something quality and now they're still around just they sell their products for like 10x their price but um and it's got this burberry uh little p uh connector there so that's what you're going to want to check if you do buy these second hand make sure that's all just legit here i'll give you a good close-up of the box logo so you can check it against your stuff like here you can tell the 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 actual lettering on supreme the actual text is like slightly raised above the nova check this is the, the classic burberry check pattern um so they probably put printed this on in two layers they probably put the base layer box the, the the rectangle first and then the supreme over it so that's one thing you can tell right there um yeah anyways i guess there's maybe some wrinkles from when this was printed right there and there on the upper left hand corner but i think this is sweet i'll open it up a little bit for you the extra large is a little big eh, it's a little big on me but you know we're trying to lose weight if you're in shape anything looks good whether it's too tight or too big so the goal is just to get in shape and it doesn't matter how this fits to a degree you know it does seem to have a small neck i don't know if all supreme stuff xl has that i wonder if this is higher quality t-shirt because it is a burberry t-shirt i doubt it i bet it's still the same um as a regular box logo supreme box logo 100 percent cotton you have the supreme underneath yeah oh oh that just came undone i didn't do that it just pulled out right there oh i guess right there that's how it did okay i want to give you a good look at the tag in case any any people legit checking i'll give you a chance to see the back of the tag here so there's a serial number and how everything's written so i think like how would you style this um we'll get into that really quick before i end this video appreciate all you still watching i would style this you take out any of the any of the colors in this and try to match i think this would go great with some khaki pants or shorts of course uh black or you know faded black jeans would be great regular regular blue jeans go with everything and this is no exception they would go well with this um some other so those are the obvious choices blue or black jeans and khaki pants shorts uh definitely work with this if you happen to have um i think some olive green pants those would go well with this if you got the pink uh items the pink t-shirt or hoodie they would go really well with these pink supreme socks i mean that's ultra hype beast but you know you know what you're in for when you're wearing a a, a supreme burberry uh, item so uh, you are what you are uh you're not hiding it um i think this would go sweet with these premier sb dunk highs uh, premier skate shop sb dunk highs these are i've seen shown these in videos i love these i mean these are also go great with some L uh, louis vuitton stuff but you can see that's a perfect shoe and combo to wear with this i really want the boards i think low-key if you're looking at like this stuff like you shouldn't look at streetwear as an investment to begin with um look to stocks and other actual assets not cryptocurrency I and mean, you can dabble in that stuff dabble in in streetwear for fun but like actual investments no i will say though i do think like the hoodies are real expensive like you're gonna buy those like for 500 and expect them to like go to a thousand and actually sell those down the line maybe um but you got to take care of it i do think the boards the decks are decent value like they cost what do they cost coming out like 90 80 and they're going for 200 so just over double 200 and a board if you don't actually ride it if you don't set it up and ride it then you know those keep you know in good condition as long as you don't get it faded or scratch the the graphic you know you can display that use it air quotes and sell it down the line if you take care of it and don't scratch it like i said or get it faded for very you know it'll appreciate in value i think over time as like an art piece a wall piece and and it's easier to uh take care of and not show wear so i do think the decks are low-key um a cool piece to own even at 200 i think there's some like appreciation in there where if you do need to unload it down the road you could make some money even again i'm getting older i don't know if supreme pieces are how my girlfriend wants you know us to decorate our place but maybe my room um a supreme board uh you know uh, people don't judge me supreme burberry board uh i think that would be dope so I might, 
again, I don't need more stuff, but I'm gonna, you know, see what I, you know, what I sell down the line, see if I come into any extra bonus money, fun money, and I might pick up a board even for resale and just use that, uh, justify it as a display piece and that could, you know, appreciate over time. So that's my two cents on the collection. What did you guys think of the collection? I really liked the trench coats were cool. That denim jet, um, I think it was that denim cloth type jacket. That was dope. I really wished I would have got the the check, uh, the Nova check jacket. It was the the button up denim jacket. Uh, they had a dent actual denim version, but uh, I would have loved that. The hoodie. I I already have a hoodie, and like your your entry cost is so high in the hoodie. Even if you double like sell it and like double your money it's just a lot to invest i live in california it's barely hoodie weather to begin with t-shirts a much lower entry cost for your for what you're getting if i want to flip it i can still like make money on my you know on what i paid but like i don't know i'm not i'm not gonna flip this i'm gonna wear it some some occasion i don't know what i don't know what the fit will be i i think low-key could be you know these shoes would make a good Good sneakers for this t-shirt, uh, these socks. Although there's not actual like pink in there, but you do have the red supreme and the reddish lines there. Anyways, I've managed to talk for 15 minutes about a supreme t-shirt. Please like, subscribe, comment, and follow me for more low heat coming up very soon.